Okay, today's video is going to be taken from my office. I'm going to show you the relationship behind everything that's going on. Out back is where all the construction is happening. This is the addition that we put on in 2003 and 2004. 2,000 square feet, 1,000 up top, 1,000 down below. And if we pit around to the left, we are east facing. This is the view that I have east facing. This is Patty's desk. Um, our 1980s kitchen that's full of stuff and this is our spectacular view something that you can't just ask for later so let me just jump out here take a quick view of what we are seeing okay we actually have a lot more than what you're looking at here I'm all the way out at the end of my deck and we're pivoting south so we can actually look all the way down to a place called Morgan Hill. It's about 50 miles from here. And this is actually, if we look just to the right, right in the middle, there's a little white spot. That is Stanford. The city right in the middle with the white poking out of it, that is Redwood City. And this, to the straight east of us, this is San Carlos. There's a mountain way up in the back. Let me zoom up a little bit. That is Mount Diablo. That is about 3,800 feet. And this is about as far as I can see to the north. Uh, zooming up, that is the San Mateo Bridge. Uh, and right over the top of it, there's a little white building. That is Oakland Airport. The San Francisco Airport actually is this direction. I don't get to actually see the planes landing and taking off and right behind it, unfortunately, is San Francisco. So, this is our driveway. The bottom part of the driveway is not completed because I still have construction to do and a lot of the trucks that drop off materials or pick materials up, i.e. rock, dirt, etc., they leak oil. So, why have them leak oil on my driveway? On my new pavers so I did the installation a couple of years ago actually it's been 2011 put in a number of walls and instead why don't I actually this is our loop so let me back up again so when we come up the driveway we go through our circle drive continue all the way up the driveway all the way through the back you can see there's an oak tree and my pickup truck's parked way in the back. And that loop comes all the way around. Notice my little tool spot. That's where I'm storing my tools right now in the carport or part of the carport so that I don't get, if it, does, if it actually does rain or heavy dew, none of my tools get wet. So here's my little car that I picked up in Clearwater, Florida last year. And we continue right down the driveway. That's about a 17% grade. So uh, if you didn't have your clutch, or brake engaged, you would be going 35 miles an hour by the time you hit the corner. Anyway, we're going to go back inside and take a look at uh, our current garage construction project. Okay, this is our living room, just walking right through. Here's our dining room. Unfortunately, it's just got plans on it. And we're heading outside. So this is where we are now. So we concreted this piece in just the other day. Uh, this footing that you see here is actually 52 inches tall. So we had to dig quite a hole in order to get there. This is a walkway that goes, will end up going all the way out to my truck port. And if you take a good look, not that difficult to see, we have a whole pile of wood in the truck port. That was delivered this morning, along with in the foreground, two pretty good sized beams. Just to give you some perspective, the wall that'll be getting erected right next to those beams is five and a half inches wide. So that beam below on the right side is five and a half inches wide and 18 inches tall, 24 feet long, weighs about 550 pounds. Very difficult to do by oneself. So this is our garage. There will be a breezeway that gets us from, this is actually we saw the back side of the loop, uh, this is our oak tree. We had some stonework done to it back in 2011 as well when we were putting in the driveway. 
uh, I call this the pit. I got tired of crawling in our subfloor, which is right below, and I asked our architect to give me a subfloor so I have a place to put stuff and not have to worry about crawling around on my gut. So now we have, this was a very deep hole when we first did it. Today, one of the things that we did put in was uh, this beam. It's uh, three and a half inches wide, 11 and seven inches tall. It weighs a couple hundred pounds as well. Good to have a concrete crew to help me put it in. Um, pivoting around uphill. This is our property as well. This is an orange grove, 10 plants. Actually, one of them is a, uh, I guess you could call it a citrus grove since one, top left is, an, is a lemon tree. And then in the very back, we have a lime as well. There is a orchard in the very back. This is our chicken coop. This is the workshop that I put in a couple years ago. Uh, just in the left, there is a cement slash concrete mixer. Let me walk out into, here I'm actually walking across the new part of our project. This is, I'm actually in the garage, which has no framing done yet. This is that addition from the outside. And the nasty part of our construction is right here. I'm actually just ready to get started framing. Uh, and this is the other perspective um, from the very back part of our home. We still have an awesome view through our carport. This concludes today's video.